What's up everybody? I'm Ever Rabbit here on Torque Drift on PC. What better way to get used to a controller than is with a new build? So we're gonna start a new build today. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So before we actually start a new build, there is a challenge on Cali Banks that I feel like we should try and get because you can get TD crates, which would be great for opening those up for a new build. So we're going to come into here, we're going to pick a car that I know I can chase with for sure, and we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Like I said, we are on the controller. Matt Fields Chase Challenge. Kick it up into second gear. Got to get 38,000 on here on Irwindale. Oh, that was a little bit off. Ah, a little bit off on that, but... We should have stayed closer to him with the wall tap though. So slowly getting used to the controller for sure. So I believe we got the, at least the first one. Yeah, we got the first tier, just barely. So we want to get that 38,800 in order to unlock the five torque drift crates so we can start a new build. So we're, right. so we're gonna go for our second attempt here in Christoph Blush's Eurofighter here on Cali Banks Irwindale circuit. Throw it in, kind of angle up, oh, a little bit too much of a wall tap. We're not going to be able to get it that time, so we're definitely going to restart that right away. So I did complete this challenge on my phone, so now we are trying to complete it on the PC because we want to get those crates to start a new build. I definitely got a bad start, need to be much closer up there to Matt Field if we want to be able to get this, and too much sauce on the wall going to try it one more time we just need to get it we need to get it completed so that we can start a new build so if you guys are enjoying the torque drift pc content let me know down in the comment section down below didn't initiate it ah, rip had one i had one good run in the beginning but unfortunately off the rip a little bit too much Kicking in third gear, maybe. Now shift in the fourth. Hard on the handbrake there. Oh, oh, come on. So close. So close. 36. We kind of failed on the last section of it. So close. We can get it this time, though. If we get it this time, make sure you guys tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate the support. And uh, I feel like we can't give it another go. And then we're going to decide what car we are actually going to be building here for a new build on PC. A little bit better. There we go. Oh, too much of a flick. Oh, rip. Rip to the Eurofighter. Oh, that transition is getting me every time, though. So we're going to start in third gear, maybe. That field's car just gets such a jump. Suck up to the wall. We need to get some close call points in order to complete this. That's not going to do it either. Ugh. So close. The challenge is not... I was able to get it within the first try on mobile. As you can see, controller for me. Getting a lot better than I was before. Oh, didn't initiate right there. Hit the brakes instead. Getting a lot better if you guys have followed the channel and followed the progression of 
the PC side here on Torque Drift, you guys know that Controller and I don't usually get along too well. But we seem to slowly be getting the handle of it. Too aggressive on this door? Never. We may have gotten it. I think we may have actually tagged it, which would be sweet. There we go, 39, 348. So we did complete the challenge, got our two, our five torque shift crates, which is exactly what we're gonna wanna do. These guys all up in here. Exactly what we're gonna wanna do to build a car. We're gonna get, drop out five torque shift crates right away, maybe pull some really good parts, maybe pull some other cars. So let's go and actually start a new build here on the PC. Go to the garage. We're gonna go to the street. So what kind of street cars do we have? We do have the 4 GT, which we would have to buy. We've built a 13, we've built a 14, we've built an E30, E46, we've built the E21, we've built the GT86, we've pretty much, I think, built every single car other than the 96, or the 69 Mustang. So, FD, 180, Supra, Maybe we should do a new 180 because they do have, I don't think I ever really built my 180 fully. So, I think we're going to go with the 180SX unless we pull a car from the torque drift crate. So, we're going to go ahead and purchase this 180. There we go, new cars, and now we're going to go to crates. So, we got five torque drift crates. See what we can pull for the 180. Anything good, hopefully. Some blue neons. A pro diff, which is definitely a good pull. Blue neons, we'll use those too. And some gold. So, crate number two. Some more gold. Some brighter blue neons and some cash. So definitely the car is going to be rocking some blue seam on there with the blue neons. Crate number three, intake. Oh, that's a great pull. A custom intake and some red neons. That custom intake is definitely a major pull. Any custom parts pulled from Torque Drift Crates are great. Some more cash, some wheels, and some more gold. So, nothing super crazy other than that thing. Some tires, some cash, a lot of cash actually. So, we got a lot of cash to play with. So, let's go to our parts and actually put some stuff on this car. I don't know if I like the wheels that we actually pulled. Nah, no, don't like them. We're gonna have to get some other wheels. Whew, don't like those wheels. So then we're gonna go to intake. We are going to, damn, we can sell it for 10K. We're gonna equip the custom AEM intake. And then we gotta go into the back and put in our Pro diff, which is a very, very good pull to have. Having a good diff is definitely great when you're building a new car. And then, of course, you know, we're going to throw on some neons because why not? So we have blue, we have bright blue, and we have not so bright blue. You know, we're going to go with the brightest blue we have. And then, might as well sell these for some more gold. We're not going to go with the red, so we're going to sell that as well. So, we are going to go to the parts shop, see what kind of engines we can do. We are going to put a big wing on this thing, so we're going to be using the Big Country Labs wings. So let's take a look at the engine. We definitely want to get that RB26 in this car. So we're going to buy the cheapest pro motor. We're going to buy the 2J. And we're gonna drop the 65 on the RB and we're gonna buy the RB right away. So let's go into the nitty gritty of some other parts. We're not gonna go super crazy. We just wanted the RB26 in there. So we are gonna do all the lower parts first. Yep, buy the brakes. And we're gonna go slow build with this car. Let's see that exhaust, this exhaust is better. Yep, and we're going to throw the uh, coilovers in the car. Let's see, 720, 717. All right. 
So we're going to start with all aftermarket parts. And we are going to put a bigger turbo on it. And we're going to see where that pretty much puts us. We do need some new alloys. So I'm trying to find out what really want to throw in this car. I've always loved these wheels. But do we want to throw on some customs? I think we are just going to go with the five spoked wheels, 18s. Oh, well, I guess we could use factory wheels for right now. We're going to have to go with the body kit. Oh, my. I really like the fully upgraded body kit. Super aggressive very nasty I've never actually owned that body kit so by that we got <laughs> we pretty much just depleted all of our money but we're gonna instant buy the body kit and then we're gonna go to our spoilers of course we have the gold to put a big wing on this car just gotta really find out which one that we're gonna want to put on Kind of like that. I kind of like the high wing. So many choices. I think we're going to go with we're going to go with the highest wing possible. There we go. And uh, instant buy. Yep, there we go. So <laughs> the 180 went from not that tuned to pretty aggressive looking but we didn't mess too much on power so we are going to be running it um, on a lower power stance to get more and more used to it and just to run the cars you know and build it up slowly rather than going full blown out but of course we need to get more money now so we are kind of at a uh, I guess you would stay a halt point for this car we're gonna lower the rear suspension a little bit more drop that down there we go yep confirm and then we're gonna go confirm and we're gonna go to the body kit can we adjust we can adjust it hmm interesting oh I kinda like that wing better the Euro beat spoiler We'll keep that one just in case we want to change it out. Body kit. We're going to tune this up. Front track. Gonna widen that track a little bit. Widen the rear a little bit more. All right. So let's take this out and see what it does. Uh, basically how it sits because never uh, done this car in this style before. I mean, what better way to test it than in a parking garage? What could go wrong? So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. 635 horsepower. I feel like we should probably throw on some grip, a little bit grippier of tires, not super grippy. And then go set it, see if we can find somebody to go tandem with here on Tokyo Drift that is going to be a big uphill battle for us. Oh, the car looks cool. Oh, kind of a little bit sluggish there. But then again, we don't have a lot of power. I didn't adjust the boost at all. I probably should have a little handbrake there. Oh, I definitely like how this car looks. And for a quick, barely tuning it, I think it's driving pretty well. I feel like we do need a little bit more power in this car, of course. Or, you know, we have our M4 of over a thousand horsepower. Keep forgetting I have a clutch kick button. But for a first run out with this car at the power and everything, I think, I think it's a pretty decent rider not the highest amount of points I'm sure we're gonna get dummied but oh yeah dummied for sure 
because we couldn't link the whole track. So we're definitely just going to try and get a good chase. At least to end this episode off. I mean, that was pretty of a pretty aggressive entry. Kind of too much of a wall tap there. Definitely getting used to the controller. Oh my, that man is all up in the wall. No wonder we got dummied, but hey, we staying with him. We staying with him in the tandem right now. Oh, it's more so than I would say normally. On PC, that's the wall. So the 180 is definitely gonna get some wider wheels, some bigger, bigger power and everything like that. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.